I know this sounds crazy, but have you ever seen a giant human face on Mars? Because in 1976, NASA took a photo that looked exactly like that. A huge stone face carved into the Martian surface. Two eyes, a nose, and even a mouth. NASA said, relax, it's just a trick of light. But then they showed a second photo, and it looked edited. And that's where things start to get weird. Because the more you dig, the more strange structures you find. Pyramids, doors, a city grid, even what looks like a monolith casting a shadow across Mars's moon. Some say it's all coincidence. Others believe it's evidence of an ancient civilization. But what's the truth? In this episode, we're going to dive into the photos, the theories, and the things NASA doesn't want to talk about. All right, let's go back to 1976. NASA's Viking 1 orbiter was doing its job, snapping pictures of Mars to scout for a landing spot. Nothing fancy, just dry red rock, craters, dust. Then, one photo stood out. In the Cydonia region of Mars, there it was, a face, literally. Two eyes, a long nose, a mouth, sitting there like a statue half buried in the dirt. It looked so human, it made headlines around the world. Newspapers called it the face on Mars. People went wild. Some thought it was an alien carving. Others said maybe Mars had its own ancient civilization. But NASA quickly stepped in. Chill out. It's just a trick of light and shadow. Don't overthink it. And honestly, that explanation kind of worked at first. But here's where it gets interesting. Because years later, in 1998 and again in 2001, NASA sent better cameras to photograph the exact same region. Sharper images, more clarity, and guess what? The face was gone, or changed, smoothed out, flattened. It looked like a regular hill now, nothing special. Except some people noticed that the second photo, it looked off. The lighting was different. The angle had changed. Some even said it looked digitally altered. Suddenly, the question wasn't just, what is that thing? Now it was, why does it look so different? And why won't anyone explain the edits? That's when the theories really took off. Some claimed the face wasn't natural at all, that it had symmetry, mathematical ratios, even design, like something built, not formed. The lighting was different. The angle had changed. Some even said it looked digitally altered. Suddenly, the question wasn't just, what is that thing? Now it was, why does it look so different? And why won't anyone explain the edits? That's when the theories really took off. Some claimed the face wasn't natural at all, that it had symmetry, mathematical ratios, even design, like something built, not formed. And then came the other structures, because if you zoom out from the face, there's more around it. A set of shapes laid out almost like a city grid. People started mapping it, pointing out pyramid-shaped mounds and geometric patterns. It didn't look random. It looked placed. To be fair, NASA kept saying, it's all just rocks and pareidolia. That thing where your brain sees faces in clouds or animals in toast. But here's the thing, if this were a one-off, okay, sure, maybe it's a coincidence. But this is just the beginning. There are other structures scattered all across Mars, and they're not all easy to explain away. So maybe the face is just a hill, or maybe it's the first piece of a story we haven't been told yet. Either way, the mystery didn't end with Viking. In fact, it was just getting started. So if the face on Mars wasn't weird enough, hold on, because it gets weirder. After the Viking mission, curiosity about Mars started to snowball. People began digging through images, not just the face, but everything around it. And what they found was bizarre. Near the Cydonia face, there's a formation that looks almost exactly like a pyramid. No joke, it has straight edges, equal slopes, and a pointed top. Some researchers said it even casts a shadow exactly like the Great Pyramid of Giza. Coincidence? Maybe. But then, another pyramid, and another. Not identical, but arranged in what looked like a pattern, like they were placed there on purpose. And if you connect the coordinates, they seem to form something close to a city layout. People started calling it the Cydonia Complex, a grid of shapes, geometric alignments. Even NASA admitted, yeah, that is kind of symmetrical, but it's still natural. Okay, maybe, but things didn't stop there. In another image from a different part of Mars, a rover captured what looked like a doorway carved into a rock wall. Seriously, 
differently. It has a frame, a shadow inside, and a clean horizontal cut. NASA said it was just a small crack, about a foot tall, caused by natural erosion. But when you zoom in, it's creepy how perfect it looks, like an entrance waiting for someone. Still not enough? Let's head off planet. On Phobos, one of Mars's tiny moons, there's an object that looks like a monolith, a tall rectangular tower standing completely alone on the otherwise smooth surface. It casts a long shadow. It's pure vertical, and it's just there. Buzz Aldrin, yeah, the second man to walk on the moon, once brought it up in an interview and said, we should visit the monolith on Phobos. The universe put it there. Or if not the universe, maybe someone else did. So now we've got faces, pyramids, doors, and monoliths, all in places we've barely explored. Are they just tricks of light? Rocks in weird shapes, random erosion. That's what the official answers say. But there's something about the way these things look. The positioning, the shapes, the patterns, that makes a lot of people ask, what if Mars wasn't always dead? Because if even one of these things is real, if even one was designed or carved or placed by someone or something, then everything we thought we knew about Mars changes. And that brings us to the real question. If something was here before us, where did it go? All right, let's be honest. Maybe it's all just rocks, weird shapes, odd shadows, tricks of light and erosion. That's what NASA says. And sure, there's science behind that. Mars has been through a lot. Meteors, dust storms, collapses, quakes. So yeah, it's totally possible that all these strange structures just formed naturally. But at some point, you have to ask, how many coincidences does it take before something stops feeling like a coincidence? We've got what looks like a face near a pyramid near a city layout, plus a door, plus a monolith, all on or around Mars. That's a lot of just rocks. And here's the kicker, Mars wasn't always this dead. Scientists now believe Mars once had a thick atmosphere, flowing rivers, and possibly even oceans. There's real evidence of ancient water systems, dried up lake beds, and mineral deposits that only form with moisture. So now you've got a planet that once had water, and maybe an atmosphere, and maybe enough stability to support life. What kind of life? No idea. Maybe just microbes. Maybe something more advanced. Something that built, carved, explored, and then vanished. Some believe an ancient Martian civilization might have existed billions of years ago, way before Earth ever hosted humans. And then, something happened. A massive catastrophe. A war. A natural event. Maybe even self-destruction. Whatever it was, it erased almost everything. That could explain why Mars is such a graveyard now. Silent, broken, and scattered with strange formations that no one can quite explain. Of course, this leads to even bigger ideas. Some say these structures were made by aliens, not Martians. Visitors from elsewhere who landed on Mars first, long before Earth. Others think Mars was never meant to be colonized. It was used as an outpost, a mining site, a base, and then abandoned. Now, let's not get carried away. We don't have proof. Not yet. But isn't that what makes it interesting? The mystery of Mars isn't just about aliens or ancient ruins. It's about asking the question, what if we're not the first? What if intelligent life came before us, on Mars, or somewhere else, and we're just now finding the crumbs they left behind? Maybe we're not looking for life on Mars. Maybe we're looking for history. And if we ever get boots back on that planet, human or robotic, maybe we'll finally get some real answers. Until then, the face, the pyramids, the doorways, and the monolith, they're still sitting there.